Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to discuss another question regarding MRCS. Solve of the question is one of the best way to pass the MRCS exam and carry a better mark in MRCS exam. And here uh, the question, a 17 years old lady present with right iliac fossa pain and diagnosed as having acute appendicitis. You take her to the theater to perform a laparoscopic appendicectomy. During the procedure, the scrub nurse distracts you and you in advertently uh, avulse the appendicular artery. The ensuring hemorrhage is likely to be supplied directly from which vessels. So here we can see a 17 years old lady presented with right eye for and uh, diagnosed acute appendicitis. You took her to the theater and performed laparoscopic appendicectomy and you distracted an appendicular artery was avulsed. And here uh, ensuring hemorrhage uh, is likely to supply directly from of the vessel. That means the appendicular artery is arising from which of the vessels here the options options are inferior mesenteric artery superior mesenteric artery ileocolic artery internal iliac artery and none of the above so we have to find out one of the artery which uh, gives branch appendicular artery and this appendicular artery supplies the appendix so here we can see uh, here it is the terminal ileum cecum and here the ascending colon and we can see uh, the appendix it is a worm like structure arising from the posterior medial of the uh, cecum and we can see this is the appendicular artery the appendicular artery uh, it enters into the major appendix and supplies uh, the appendix here and we if we go back here we can see it arising from this artery and this artery this is known as ileocolic artery so appendicular artery it arising from the ileocolic artery and finally uh, enters into the meso appendix and supplies the appendix here we can see another picture in this picture here the small intestine the terminal ileum and here our appendix uh, cecum and ascending colon and part of the transverse colon here and here also we can see this is the appendicular artery and it backs and here we can see it arising from this trunk and this is the ileocolic trunk or ileocolic artery and ileocolic artery arising from this large artery and this artery is known as the superior mesenteric artery so and superior mesenteric artery arising from the abdominal aorta so from abdominal aorta superior mesenteric artery arises superior mesenteric artery gives branch ileocolic artery ileocolic artery uh, gives another branch that is appendicu uh, uh, appendicular artery and this appendicular artery supplies the appendix so appendicular artery it arising from the ileocolic artery here another picture that is the ileocolic artery this ileocolic artery arising from this vessel and this is the superior mesenteric artery so our final answer is the ileocolic artery the ileocolic artery uh, gives branch uh, of appendicular artery and if we want to secure this appendicular artery we have to bind this artery and this is the ileocolic artery and other branches such as inferior uh, mesenteric artery, superior mesenteric artery, internal iliac artery they are not true. Inferior mesenteric artery it supplies uh, the left colon and rectum and the superior mesenteric artery if we uh, bind the superior mesenteric artery here such as here so uh, a large portion such as the transverse colon and uh, part of the descending colon will be damaged and this large area will be ischemic necrosis and gangrene of the bowel soccer so see, there is no uh, way to bind the superior mesenteric artery though it is uh, from the superior mesenteric artery ileocolic artery arises but there is no chance to uh, secure the superior mesenteric artery we have to uh, secure here the ileocolic artery and it is branch which supplies the appendix so our final answer is ileocolic artery. Thank you all.